I mean, just finally on this, it's about embracing these times that we're going through. Because in five to ten years, when you're looking back and you go, oh my gosh, we did this and we did that. And we didn't have food and we didn't have, you know, me and my wife on Christmas, we didn't buy each other Christmas presents because we couldn't afford it. Things were so tight back then. I, I look back now and I'm like, why were things so tight? I don't, I don't even remember why. I think all my money went on family court. We spent tens of thousands of pounds. An absolute nightmare. But I just remember, you know, we didn't have much money. And as I look back, I was still very happy. <laughs> but embrace these times. Embrace the lessons. You know, if the lesson for you is, okay, I need to work 16-hour days instead of 8-hour days. Embrace that lesson. Because maybe that's what you should have done five years ago to carry you up. Because don't get me wrong, you're going to go through these tough times and then you're going to get into better times. And then you know what comes after uh, better times? Tough times. Once again, you're going to have to go through tough times. It happens once every 10 years. There's always something somewhere going on that's going to create these difficult times for you. And so you need to embrace them. Get the lessons so that next time you go through them, you can perform better. For us, paying down the debt, increasing more educational products, having more regular clients. All that stuff really needs a big focus on because that's where we're heading. So that the next time, in another 10 years, in 2033 or 2035 or 2037, because it's coming when the aliens land or when the asteroid hits or when... Bitcoin explodes or whatever, right? Nobody knows what it's going to be. When we go to war with Manchester, <laughs> Leeds against Manchester, like whatever, right? I don't know what it's going to be. When the US economy totally collapses and they go to civil war between 52 states, uh, 53 states, I forgot Canada. <laughs> so <laughs> for my American friends, you have to put that in there. Uh, whenever you meet a Canadian, you are, you are you American. Yeah, yeah, 53rd state, right? Watch the heads explode. It's always amusing. But whatever it happens to be, it will come back around. This has happened before and it'll happen again. Just to quote Battlestar Galactica. And so you need to learn these lessons. And so start to embrace these and start to question, not why is it happening to me, but what is the lesson for me to learn? How can I take advantage? What, what have I not learned yet? What have I missed? What bit do I need to implement into my life to improve it so that when it comes around next time, it's smooth sailing. I can just rent a yacht and we'll go around the world and, you know, happy times. Whatever that might be. All right, hope that's useful for you. We'll catch up with you on the next one. My name's Dan Latter. Have a wicked day. Take care.